Electro, which is the S1. So as we continue, so we said if it's A, aortic, aortic, aseptic, aseptic, left side. If it's P, pulmonic, pulmonic, polluted, polluted, right side. And then E is the herbs, the thirds, and then the fourth state is the tricuspid, and then the fifth is the mitral or the base of the heart. So now you know which one. So mostly these things are going to give you a lot of tricuspid or herbs. Yeah, why not? But that's the easy question. So most, mostly the heart and the medium is when they give you a symptom, and then in direct way you have to connect whether it's the left or side or aortic or pulmonic, and where is the best to auscultate. So we talked about the scultation, and then remember I told you in the first slide, like when I explained this uh, figure to tell you why my trick is rear and right side, left and long. Well, that's because of the symptoms. So the right side received the blood from the rear, which is the like forest side. So everything else from the far. So if the patient has peripheral edema, hepatomegaly, uh, kidney failure, swelling of the limbs, that means the affected side is the right side. So in the NCLEX, if they give you symptoms and tell you what do you expect, the diagnosis or the affected side of the heart, they're not going to tell you right or left. That's an easy one. But they're going to give you some defects that will tell you if it's a right side or a left side. For example, they're going to give you, uh, is it, so patient with peripheral edema, so is it a left ventricular hypertrophy or is it pulmonic stenosis? So that's how you have to correlate. So wait, so left hypertrophy, that's the left side. This is peripheral edema, it's rare, rare is right. Pulmonic stenosis, oh wait, pulmonic is on the right side. Remember the pulmonic thing on the right. So it's the right side. So that's how NCLEX works. Indirect way to see if I change the term, will you still be able to understand? That's why one of my strategy, every disease or every word, Google the synonym or Google the parallel name. So right side, pulmonic side, uh, right atria, P. So that's all the same topic about the right side of the heart. And then the left side, as you see in the picture, the left is the red one. So Left one is the good blood. Left receives the blood from the lungs, right? See the lungs, it goes there. So if the left is affected, it's gonna go back up. So we're gonna have symptoms in the lungs. So dyspnea, crackles, PE, and respiratory failure. So let's do the same scenario. You have a patient with crackles, dyspnea. What is mostly causing this? left side hypertrophy or pulmonic stenosis uh, right septical defect so which one do you think well it's the left it's lungs l l so lungs left left so i'm going to choose a left defect pulmonic stenosis is it a left side or right well pulmonic is polluted polluted is on the right side so it's the right side so nope omit it right uh, hypertrophy? Mm -hmm. No, it's the lungs, right? So if we're talking about the lungs, we need the left side. So you remove that. So we have the left hypertrophy. So this is what I'm trying to tell you how to correlate or connect in NCLEX because NCLEX is always in direct way. So if you know the symptoms of the left side, if you know the parallel name or synonym or defects of the le left side, it's going to be, wow, easy and magic for you. The heart defects. So there's some reviews that use trouble, uh, which is really good and it helped me out. Other reviews, um, they just use, um, tell you different type of defects. Mine is a CT, you know, diagnostic CT, because every um, cyanotic defect starts with letter T. So every cyanotic defect, so C is for cyanotic, T is the defect. So truncus arteriosus, tricuspid, tetralogy of phallus. So everything starts with letter T. And of course, there's one exception, as the one of the review said, which is the left ventricular hypoplasty. But hey, that's one of the hard things. So do you need to 
use entire your brain cells for something that 2% is going to come out. No, as we said, if you miss every single heart, you're still going to pass with the flying colors. So let's stick with the medium level and ace the medium so we can ace with the 75 question. So every cyanotic heart defect starts with the letter T. Cyanotic, it means hypoxic, right? It's bluish. So is it a problematic thing? Yes. So does the patient need some surgeries or some stuff? Yes. So first of all, we have to ask ourselves, cyanotic or not? So if it starts with the letter T, yes, it is. If no, it's not. So it's okay. So he mean he still have oxygenated blood, so he doesn't need any further intervention. But if it's cyanotic, it means his oxygen is low, so it will affect the organs. So we need some intervention. We're going to need some surgery. We're going to need that patient's going to have a delay in the growth, delay in development. So how is the question is, uh, you're the nurse. You're a patient, for example, a kid, infant, five years old, 15. It doesn't matter the age because the disease is all the same and have, let's say, um, pathology of phallus. What do you educate if it's an adult, the patient, or the family if it's a kid? So, you know, starts with letter T, so eunotic. Eunotic, it means less oxygen. So we need oxygen, so that's a problem. So he's going to need intervention. So you're going to tell them, oh, he's going to need surgery. He's going to need some intervention. There might be a delay in development. So everything negative is in the cyanotic. But if it's not starting with letter T, it's not cyanotic, that patient can be okay. Does he need further intervention right now? Nope because he's still receiving the exact amount of oxygen that he still needs. That's why there's no cyanosis. So one of the defects that we really need to know, like so the others we don't really need to know as long as we know the first letter, but the only one that we really need to know in NCLEX is pathology of phallus because it's the only one that having four defects in one syndrome. So uh, I like this drawing because it's giving me a little bit what are those uh, defects. And my minimix for here, something to help me remember, is the public relation officer. Remember PRO, he communicates with everything. So for me, the heart is the beat. He's the public relation officer for our body because he connects with every single organ. Without it, you're nothing. He communicates with every single organ. He pumps the blood to every single organ. But is he a regular public uh, relation officer, PRO? No, he's a special one, right? Because he's just special. He's our heart. Without the heart, we can't live. So it's S-P-R-O. S stands for septal defect, which is the first defect. There you go. P is pulmonary stenosis. So this guy is holding it. R is for the right mm -hmm. ventricular hypertrophy. O is for the overriding aorta. So that's when he is overriding the aorta. So that's the four um, defects for the tetralogy of phallus. So, which is the S1. So as we continue, so we said if it's A, aortic, aortic, aseptic, aseptic, left side. If it's P, pulmonic, pulmonic, polluted, polluted, right side. And then E is the herbs, the third, and then the fourth state is the tricuspid, and then the fifth is the mitral or the base of the heart. So now you know which one. So mostly these things are going to give you a lot of tricuspid or herbs. Yeah, why not? But that's the easy question. So most, mostly the heart and the medium is when they give you a symptom, and then in that way, you have to connect whether it's the left or side or aortic or pulmonic and where is the best to auscultate. So we talked about auscultation. And then remember I told you in the first slide, like when I explained this uh, figure to tell you why my trick is rear and right side, left and long. Well, that's because of the symptoms. So the right side received the blood from the rear, which is the like forest side. So everything else from the far. So if the patient has peripheral edema, hepatomegaly, uh, kidney failure, swelling of the limbs, that means the affected side is the right side. So in the NCLEX, if they give you symptoms and tell you 
what do you expect the diagnosis or the affected side of the heart they're not going to tell you right or left that's an easy one but they're going to give you some defects that will tell you if it's a right side or a left side for example they're going to give you uh is it so patient with peripheral edema so is it a left ventricular hypertrophy or is it pulmonic stenosis so that's how you have to correlate so wait so left hypertrophy that's the left side this is peripheral edema it's rare rare this is right pulmonic stenosis oh wait pulmonic is on the right side remember the pulmonic thing on the right so it's the right side so that's how NCLEX works indirect way to see if I change the term will you still be able to understand that's why one of my strategy every disease or every word google the synonym or google the parallel name so right side pulmonic side uh, right atria p so that's all the same topic about the right side of the heart and then the left side as we see in the picture the left is the red one so left one is the good blood left receives the blood from the lungs right see the lungs it goes there so if the left is affected it's going to go back up so we're going to have symptoms in the lungs so dyspnea crackles pe and respiratory failure so let's do the same scenarios you have a patient with crackles dyspnea what is mostly causing this left side hypertrophy or pulmonic stenosis a right septical defect so which one do you think well it's the left it's lungs l l so lungs left left so i'm going to choose a left defect pulmonic stenosis is it a left side or a right well pulmonic is polluted polluted is on the right side so it's the right side so nope omit it right uh hypertrophy mm -hmm. no it's the lungs right so if we're talking about the lungs we need the left side so you remove that so we have the left hypertrophy so this is what i'm trying to tell you how to correlate or connect in nclex because nclex it's always in direct way so if you know the symptoms of the left side if you know the parallel name or synonym or defects of the left side it's going to be wow easy and magic for you the heart defects so there's some reviews that use trouble and uh, which is really good and it helped me out other reviews um they just use um tell you different type of defects mine is a ct you know diagnostic ct because every um cyanotic defect starts with letter t so every cyanotic defect so c is for cyanotic t is the defect so truncus arteriosus tricuspid tetralogy of phallus so everything starts with letter t and of course there's one exception as the one of the review said which is the left ventricular hyperplasty. But hey, that's one of the hard thing. So do you need to use entire your brain cells for something that 2% is gonna come out? No, as we said, if you miss every single heart, you're still gonna pass with the flying colors. So let's stick with the medium level and ace the medium so we can ace with the 75 question. So every cyanotic, Heart defect starts with letter T. Cyanotic, it means hypoxic, right? It's bluish. So is it a problematic thing? Yes. So does the patient need some surgeries or some stuff? Yes. So first of all, we have to ask ourselves, cyanotic or not? So if it starts with letter T, yes, it is. If no, it's not. So it's okay. So you mean he still have oxygenated blood so he doesn't need any further intervention but if it's cyanotic it means his oxygen is low so it will affect the organs so we need some intervention we're gonna need some surgery we're gonna need that patient's gonna have a delay in the growth delay in development so how is the question is uh you're the nurse you're a patient for example a kid infant five years old 15 it doesn't matter the age because the disease is all the same and have let's say um pathology of phallus what do you educate if it's an adult the patient or 
the family if it's a kid. So, you know, starts with letter T, so you know it. So you know it. it means less oxygen. So we need oxygen, so that's a problem. So he's gonna need intervention. So you're gonna tell them, oh, he's gonna need surgery. He's gonna need some intervention. There might be a delay in development. So everything negative is in the cyanotic. But if it's not starting with letter T, it's not cyanotic, that patient's gonna be okay. Does he need further intervention right now? Nope, because he's still receiving the exact amount of oxygen that he still needs. That's why there's no cyanosis. So one of the defects that we really need to know, like so the others we don't really need to know as long as we know the first letter, but the only one that we really need to know in NCLEX is tetralogy of Rowlett because it's the only one that having four defects in one syndrome. So uh, I like this drawing because it's give me a little bit what are those uh, defects. And my minimix for here is something to help me remember is the public relation officer. Remember PRO, he communicates with everything. So for me, the heart is the beat. He's the public relation officer for our body because he connects with every single organ. Without it, you're nothing. He communicates with every single organ. He pumps the blood to every single order. But is he a regular public uh, relation officer, PRO? No, he's a special one, right? Because He's just special. He's our heart. Without the heart, we can't live. So it's S P R O. S stands for septal defect, which is the first defect. There you go. P is pulmonary stenosis. So this guy is holding it. R is for the right ventricular hypertrophy. O is for the overriding aorta. So that's when he is overriding the aorta. So that's the four um, defects for the tetralogy of salad. And have a blessed night.